Many HVAC applications, such as factories and schools, have exposed ducting layouts for both form and function. Exposed ducting not only distributes the air to the space, it also acts as a flow obstruction in the space itself. Simulating the complete ducting layout will increase mesh count due to the long narrow passages and thin duct walls. When focus is on overall room performance and supply flow rates are known, the ducting can be suppressed to become an empty void in the model. Supply flow is represented with boundary conditions to decrease overall complexity. To illustrate this in further detail, let's focus on a horizontal section through the end of one layout branch. When modeling the full ducting system, supply air flows through the duct and out into the space. When suppressing the ducting, the air inside the ducts is eliminated and flow boundary conditions are assigned to each of the supply locations. Note that a short indent is created in CAD on the duct volume to assign the flow boundary condition to a unique surface.